Here on FTD Facts, we've been learning a lot about the great and noble people known as the Finns. And in case you weren't sure by that, I meant the people that are from the great country known as Finland. And we've talked a lot about its country and discovered what's great about it, but also dived very heavily into its military aspects. But today, specifically within this video, we are going to look at the army, which is one of three divisions of the Finnish Defense Forces, and get a general idea of who these guys are and what they do. Welcome to FTD Facts, guys. My name is Dave Wapple, and welcome to the channel where I talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, if you guys are coming to the channel for the first time, first of all, you want to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you like learning about different cultures and countries and, you know, people from all around the world. Now, we've been doing a lot of military videos as of late, but we also do talk about country videos. We've actually talked about Finland as a country as a whole, and if you guys are interested in that sort of stuff, I'm going to put some cards throughout the video for you guys to check out. Also, if you guys are really liking all of our topics about Finland, be sure to hit the like button because if we get more than 5,000 likes, we know to just continue to do more videos about Finland. So, but other than that, guys, let's just get started and let's start talking about the facts of the army of Finland. So for Finland, the army is sometimes known as the Finnish army to people around the world, or if we were in Finland, you would call it the Maivoimat. And as well in Sweden, it's known as the Armen, with the main mission, according to the website of the Finnish Defense Forces, is that the army defends the entire territory of the kingdom and carries out all the tasks of the defense forces. Now, specifically, the army is classified as the land forces, the ground forces of the entire defense forces. There's other branches such as the Navy and there's also the Air Force. But keep in mind, some of the vehicles from those other departments actually bleed into the army. And I'm going to talk about that shortly. But overall, when it comes to the Maivo Mat, they have about eight different departments and one headquarters, with General Major Petri Holko running as the commander of the entire army since August 1st of 2017. So what are these different departments? Let's go into them and give you a basic idea of what these particular departments do. First of all, you have the Jaeger Brigade, which is the most northern brigade specializing in the Lapland Territory. There's also the Guards or Guardians Regiment, which classifies somewhat of a special forces unit and focuses a lot on urban combat and is located in the Helsinki metropolitan location. And also, just to point out, these guys do train out of Usima as well. There's also the KNU Brigade, which, if I'm even pronouncing that right, is the largest compartment of troops in the entire army. Because not only do they train the regional troops, but the border guards as well. Of course, there's the Karelian Show Department, located in the Karelian area, which specializes in the environment of mechanized troops. The Army Academy, which has its main tasks, are training the recruited staff and conscripts, and the research and development tasks and standby tasks of the Army. Of course, there is also the Armor Department, which trains the most powerful group in the entire army, and these guys specialized in mechanized and anti-aircraft and electronic warfare. There's also the Porins Brigade, which is located in western Finland, and these guys are educated, skilled peacekeepers in world crisis areas. Of course, there is the Udi Regiment, which we talked about in our last video, and these guys are pretty much the special forces of the entire military. And to finish it off, there is also the Army Headquarters, which is also known as the Army Command or ARCOM, and is located in the historic garrison area of Karkia Lampi. Also, it should be known that when it comes to the Udi Regiment and also the Army Academy, they do not have any subordinate regionates where other places and other departments have one or two of them. Now, I did mention earlier that within the Finnish Army, they do have other departments that bleed into the Army. And what I meant specifically by that, although the Air Force does maintain the use of Air Force vehicles, the Army does indeed have its own aircraft, in which they use helicopters such as the NH-90 for transports and even the Hughes MD-500. However, these particular divisions go under what is more or less simply the Army Aviation Department, and they state for their helicopters the Army has approximately about 20 of them. But anyways, let's take a look at the Finnish army as a whole. How many troops do these guys have? For the army alone, they have approximately 180,000 soldiers that are ready to fight and go. But however, keep in mind that is only when it's designated a wartime. 
But during peacetime, like right now, things are actually much different. And it should also be mentioned that during this time, they have a very small percentage of soldiers that are actually employed by the army itself. Because the army has stated that currently they have 3,550 employed soldiers and approximately 640 employed civilians, totaling the amount of individuals and personnel employed by the military, equaling 4,190. But as of 2017, their numbers for soldiers for conscripts comes in at 19,800, which are classified as full-time conscripts. And of that, the military states 450 of them are volunteering women. And the army also stated that in the reserve department, they have 18,900 soldiers that were in training exercises for the reserves in 2017. Overall, they do have a lot of people that have a lot of military training, and therefore, if wartime was ever to break out, they would easily have a force of 180,000 troops. Also, guys, before I continue talking about some major facts about the Finnish army that's in today's world, I also want to go into history because that's very important when it comes to just facts about the army itself. Where did it come from and how did it evolve? Of course, Finland has had an army for a long time now. Even back when Finland was known as the Duchy of Finland, it was still somewhat a part of the Russian Empire in 1809, being classified as an anonymous country. But before that, Finland was a part of the Swedish Empire, and it's known that even Finland forces participated in approximately 38 wars of the Swedish Empire. But as for the modern version of the military, many state that it started in 1918, when Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim became the commander-in-chief of what was known as the Civic Guards, which pretty much at the time after their independence, they were known as the military of the country. It should also be noted that the Civic Guards were sometimes known as the White Guards for fighting against the Red Guards who were the militia fighting against them during the Finnish Civil War. So in our previous video, we also talked about the Jaeger Group, but more specifically, I want to talk about the Jaeger term. Now, in our past video, you guys have given us the constructive criticism and corrected our facts, saying that the term Jaeger doesn't come from actually a bird in the Nordic region, but comes from a German word. And that one actually turned out to be pretty much true. I did some digging on that, and here's pretty much the reason why. Which I'm really glad that when it comes to FTD facts, we get an opportunity to learn from you guys and even improve on our facts. And with that in mind, when it comes to the word Jäger and why it was influenced by Germany, was because of the Jäger movement, which were volunteers that trained in the German army to become elite troops during the First World War. The volunteers that I speak of, they say that there was approximately about 1,000 to 2,000 of them training with the Germans at this time. It also could be said that the first real Jäger unit was the 27th Jäger Battalion, which belonged to Germany but was made up mainly of Finnish troops. Many of you may already know that Finland has what is called ski warfare, and skiing in Finland for the military is a very important thing. But I want to expand on that because it's actually World War II that made this extremely important and popular. Because although ski warfare did exist before, it was extremely useful in the war effort against Russia during the Second World War. This was because during the Battle of Sumo Salmi, which was between Finland and Russian forces, it took place on January 7th, 1939 and January 8th, 1940. And this went down in history as a great victory for Finland because for the Russians, there was approximately two mechanized divisions of approximately 45,000 to 55,000 men. And although they had superior numbers, they were defeated by three Finnish regiments, which consisted of approximately 11,000 men. And this battle alone is considered one of the greatest military achievements for the northern region of Finland and quite possibly the entire country. And also to add to ski warfare, I should also mention, and I'm not quite 100% on this one, is because from what I've researched and understand is that Norway and Finland are the only two countries in the world where all soldiers are trained in ski combat. And as for Finland, it is a standard for all conscripts to know how to ski and of course learn to combat with skis. Again, I don't know if that is 100% true. There might be some people in the comment section who are part of the military that can shed some light on this. So always keep an eye down there in the comment section below. Now also jumping back into the departments, let's break down the different type of divisions within each of them. 
Because as for divisions, there's quite a few of them. There's infantry, where you have your high-powered, close-range land forces, in which these soldiers commonly use assault rifles, anti-aircraft and anti-tank weapons, and grenades as well. For example, for assault rifles, the army uses 7.62 RK-62s and 9.5s, and they also use 7.62 KK PKMs as machine guns. There's also field artillery, which is for long-range attacks. They use howitzers like the K-9 Thunder Armor Puncher. They also use field cannons, which can shoot up to 20 kilometers, with about 800 of them in use. And they also have rocket projectors that can shoot tens of kilometers away. There's also anti-aircraft, which are mobile SAM sites and other anti-aircraft systems. And let's not forget about the engineers who are in charge of laying down bridges, tillers, cleaning vehicles, and other things of that nature. And of course, we can't forget about the tank divisions, which really we don't need words to describe these mechanized units. But for the Finnish army, they use the 16.5 ton 75mm cannon, Leopard A2A4s and A6s, with approximately about 100 of them in use. Also, you will see them use BMPs and Raptor carriers as armored fighting vehicles, with about 200 of them in total. And last but not least, we can't forget about the conveyance departments, which are all about logistics and the mobility of military personnel. However, that is me and you guys learning about some of the basic information of the Finnish army. What are your thoughts on this particular unit, and do you find this one amazing force? Okay, guys, well, that's pretty much it. My name is Dave Wapple, and thank you guys for tuning in and learning with us. Again, as always, as I always say, if you guys really like this content, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, because if we get over 5,000 likes, then we know to do more Finland content, and we know you guys really, really want some. Am I right? Yeah. But other than that, if it's first time here, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, because then you guys can stay in tune into what we are learning, and we always love learning with you guys. It's always a great collaborative effort. I get my mind expanded and you do too. But however, this has been some facts about the army divisions of the Finland Defense Forces. The brave soldiers who are on the ground dealing with the conflicts literally as a hands-on experience. The individuals who may some days be crawling in the mud or patrolling in the thickest of bush and rain, but still come out standing tall and proud. These are the soldiers, the history, and the professionalism of the Army of the Finnish Defense Forces, the soldiers who fight for honor, duty, and will. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys really like this content, well, we got a buttload of other videos for you guys to check out. Also, guys, we have tons of other army and military stuff that we have not covered, so be sure to hit those like buttons and give us suggestions for the future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.